everyone. I'm psychic medium, Miss Sarah Harvey from the Psychic Medium School, and I'm actually a psychic on Etsy. I am so excited to share this news with you guys. I actually cleared my first $10,400 in six months on Etsy. And I, I have some tips I want to share with you guys. That's why I'm looking down. So I'm going to share these tips with you guys. And this is exactly how I'm doing this. These tips are tips that I use myself and that I've used to grow my business and to make $10,400. So I regularly make over a thousand dollars. So I make thousands of dollars a month on Etsy. This is my primary source of income and I'm excited to share these tips with you guys today. So the first one is don't do what everyone else does. So one of the things you'll notice if you look on Etsy is if some a potential client searches for you, they're going to see all the other readings. There's going to be the whole page is going to be full of different uh, people that are offering the same things that you are, different psychics that are offering the same thing that you are. And so I want you to take a look at that. Search a keyword that you use for one of your readings if you're already on Etsy or one that you plan to use if you're on Etsy or if you're going to get on Etsy, excuse me. And I want you to find out if your image that you're creating is going to stand out when you search for those keywords that you are going to use in your readings or for your listings. That's really, really important because you don't want to look like everybody else does. I actually had someone tell me they're like, uh, when I was sharing my image on, on a, in a Facebook group that I'm in, one of the girls was like, well, I don't think your image is, um, witchy enough or psychic -y enough. It's not that color. It's not that like her idea of branding is just different than mine. So I, I want to tell you to follow your instinct and pay attention to what colors are standing out to you, what images are standing out to you, and what is catching your eye when you're looking at these listings and how you can differentiate yourself so it actually pops out when your potential client is going through your listings or going through all the available listings rather. So the other thing is number two is that I suggest that you have a picture of yourself somewhere in your shop. So I either would put it uh, on that first image that you have in your shop on the left uh, or in the banner maybe, but always have an image of yourself in your shop. And the reason why I say this is because we're, or we're making an attempt to uh, connect with someone online to uh, help as our client, right? So one of the most difficult things there is to do is uh, build this relationship like we would build in person and people we know that people buy from people they know, like know and trust right so it's a little bit more complex to build that relationship online than it would be in person right because uh, you'll feel most people feel people's energy better they decide whether or not they want to work with them better in person so it's it's a complex uh, task for us to get past that and have them have our potential client feel like they know us uh, through our shop, through the images, through the things that they're reading. And so that brings me to step three or tip three. So I want you to pay attention to your stats. So when you're reading your stats on Etsy, it's really important to know where you stand, where your most sales are coming from. What, uh, what listing, what your conversion rate is, where your clients are coming from, whether Etsy is bringing the majority of your clients or you're bringing the majority of your clients, if how much your Etsy ads are bringing in, those are just all important things for you to know. If you wanna run a serious business, the numbers are very, very, very important. If as a business owner myself, if I ask you, what is the most profitable listing that you have, you should know, right? That's very, very important. If I ask you what the most profitable listing you had last year is, you should know, because that's how we make a profit in a business. So now we're on to number four. Number four is keywords and tags are so important. 
important, very, very important. And the reason why they're so important is because that is what triggers Etsy's SEO to show your listing to potential clients. It brings you up higher in the rankings and it's just going to show, if Etsy's choosing a listing to show outside of Etsy and advertise on Google, they're actually going to choose the one that's gonna fit the potential client that they're looking for the best. So it's very important to use keywords and tags that are going to trigger Etsy's SEO to show your listing to your potential clients. Now, I personally use Marmalade. I swear by it. I love it. It's easy to look at. It's easy to work with. I just love it. And I've, I've used it for a while now. And once I started using it, I realized that I could take a look at what other people are doing and just separate myself. So if you actually went and took a look at my shop, you would notice that I am my readings are priced higher because I, I consider myself a higher end psychic. Like I take the time with my clients, I build the connection, I'm building the relationship with them. So I work with high end clients. And to me, if you're establishing yourself like that and you're bringing that value and you're bringing that uh, customer service like you should, then you should be able to raise your price. And number five, is fill every available spot in your listing. So when you're looking at your listings, there's so much information that you could put in. The better your keywords and tags are uh, throughout your descriptions and throughout your listing, uh, just your listing title, the more likely Etsy is to show your listing to potential clients. So if I go in and search psychic reading, and that's a keyword that you're using, then you'll be able to see you know, I'll be able to see your listing when I pull it up then. And the higher your ranking, the higher you're going to be up in the search. So personally, I was on the first page of Google search with one of my readings within the first two to three weeks. And so that's what I teach other people to do is what keywords to use, how to find them and how to change them, uh, that's an important thing. I'll talk about that in the course. Um, I actually have a course. It's called Creating and Optimizing Your Etsy Shop for Psychics and Terror Raiders. And I'll provide that link down in the description below. Right now, it actually comes with, uh, it's at a $350 value right now. And it's actually coming with the delivering uh, legendary email reading along with it. So I actually show you how I'm doing my email readings. By the way, I only do email readings and that's the only way I deliver it and that's how I've made my money. So let's see. So now we have number six, use Etsy paid ads. So it's very important when you look at your Etsy, you're gonna, Etsy uh, dashboard, you're gonna see two different numbers. You're gonna see uh, the percentage of comp uh, pretend excuse me percentage of people that Etsy is bringing in in a period of time and a percentage that you're bringing in in a period of time and you really want that number to be balanced so the way to do that is to obviously share your listings on social media this means Instagram Facebook Pinterest uh, if you use snapchat those types of things uh, Twitter uh, get your name out there as much as you can and without overwhelming yourself, because that's important too, because your focus is just to drive traffic back into Etsy, right? And then, uh, so basically with that, you're gonna be able to balance that. And then as you grow, grow past, Etsy doesn't let you get far behind before they're helping bring in traffic because they're seeing that you're bringing in all that traffic. So that's important. So then number seven is to promote your shop on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and YouTube. YouTube is also a very important one. There's an easy way to do this where you, uh, just promoting your readings and telling people what they're getting and what other people's experiences are and little bits of uh, feedback that you've gotten from clients that really helps uh, and drive traffic back to your shop, especially with things like, like Valentine's Day is coming up. If you are posting your video of what you offer it, uh, through your readings, 
for Valentine's Day, you're going to find that people are going to be moving from YouTube to Etsy. So now we got number eight, don't underprice your readings. So my example of this is if you underprice your readings, a lot of the time people think that the value of the, uh, the value of your reading or your listing is low. Think about it. When you see a pair of shoes and they're on sale, you wonder, are they, what are they? Are they outdated? Are they not in style anymore? Are they not, are they low quality? This is the kind of thing your consumer, your potential clients are thinking as they're looking at your readings or your listings. So then there's number nine, don't overbook yourself. It's really easy to do once you start getting a lot of business and I've done it before. You don't want to do that because then you got to go back and tell people that you're not in it. You're not, um, going to be delivering their reading in the time frame that you said you were going to be delivering your, their reading in. You want to avoid that as much as you can. So for me, I can do like five readings a day and that's what I stick to because each reading, depending on what it is, is taking anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. And I just don't do over that because the spiritual energy that it takes from you is just not worth, you, you're going to get in a, into a spiritual burnout. You just don't want to do that. So number 10 is people enjoy instant gratification. So what I mean by this is the longer it takes for a client to receive their reading, the less likely they're going to be to choose you as a psychic. Now I know when you look at Etsy, you see a lot of people, a lot of, or a lot of psychics, they say, well, my reading takes X amount a week because I do this, this, and this. Well, the problem is, is that people have a very short attention span when it comes to things like this, unless you're interacting with them during that seven week or excuse me, seven day period, you might lose them, you know? And so I'm, they're thinking that when they're looking at your listing too, is that's when I'm going to get it. Like I want my reading sooner than that. So try to try to stay within a certain time frame. So anywhere between 24, 48 hours, that's a good time frame to stay in. If it's something more extensive, like you're doing, uh, psychic development sessions or those types of things, it's okay to go out further. But if we're just talking about readings, then it's better to stay in like a, or within a certain time frame. And if you, you can control your bookings by offering a minimal amount of um, listings available. So if you only have, you know, I think I have like 25 to 31 or so listings in my shop but keeping it, uh, the numbers that are available lower is going to make it so you don't have people that just go in there and buy, purchase a ton of readings in one short period of time because that's not what you want uh, because then it's, you're going to get overbooked. So that is uh, important to stay within that 24 to 48 hour uh, time period and that's how you, you do it basically. So if you've enjoyed these 10 tips, I encourage you to click the link down below in the description because uh, I actually have them all written down plus five extra. So 15 extra tips or 15 tips about how to make money in your Etsy shop. And I've made this 10K or 10.4K in six months. And I want to help other people do the same thing. Like, I think it's amazing that I get to stay home, right, with my kids. And while they're at school, I'm working. And in the summer, they're out doing things and different activities and things like that. My schedule is flexible. I absolutely love what I do. And this is why I want to share this with you guys. So if you like this video, please click the like. Subscribe for other videos like this because I'm going to share different things like uh, how to utilize marmalade. I got a couple of videos that are coming up in the future that I have a list of that I want to make for you guys. And definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out like that are similar to this. And if you are wanting to make thousands of dollars a month on Etsy, I definitely recommend that you go down into the description below and click on the link to the course because it's only going to be, this is January, 2021. It's only going to be on sale until January 31st, where I'm actually including the email reading uh, course as well with it. So go ahead and click that link down below and I look forward to chatting with you guys all again and I hope you are having an amazing day and I wish you luck with your business. Thank you for watching.